episode of Foodies and Spice, now be this today. And of course, my name is Gina. And we sit here on top of our pasta parry, the extreme Nigerianized, swagalized pasta. Golden Penny, a liquor and another brand of pasta from Golden Penny. So we are they used today. This chicken, what I actually do to them, I actually come out all the bone from the chicken, then I dice them into these small bits. Yes, I get cooking cream here cooking milk. I get onion, just very little of the onions now I won't add for the neighbor disturbing things. I get my garlic here, I get seasoning cubes, I get pepper here. I actually use yellow pepper and parmesan cheese butter. And I'm going to season my chicken. Little salt, two seasoning cube, my rosemary leaves, black pepper for seasoning, my oregano. Of course, our Nigerian curry. <laughs> Rub my seasoning into this chicken. So, all the fried fry things today, we know they use our vegetable oil. So I use my butter. Okay. okay, now my butter don't melt, almost to sizzle. Or already sizzling. So I'll add my chicken. On top of the Nigerian S matter, I don't already dice very thinly and finely my yellow pepper. And on top of the neighbor disturbing matter, I go add very small onion today. So I'll quickly pick up my pot. And of course by now, I don't know. Salt, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And we go allow and that pot up water boil. <laughs> so once you see that golden brown, you know say your chicken done ready. For the holics, at this point, I'm going to remove my chicken. I'll follow immediately with my garlic, my onion, and for that Nigerianness, my yellow pepper. My cooking milk will go in now. So I'll allow the milk cook to almost half. Why would they wait for this one? to get to that butter, butter boil. All right, my food, the whole that I see every corner on top of this um, gas cooker right now, like butter, butter things. The milk, the butter, butter on the own, my water dog, butter, butter. Once water dog, butter, butter, waiting be one enter, so. Pour the penny, early cake. So quickly pour this one in. Cover up. Just 10 minutes or just a little before 10 minutes. They are ready. Next thing I will do is to chop my onions, grate my cheese and our Alfredo sauce go done ready. Now my cheese I don't need great so because time don't reach for them to join in friend will be milk inside the pot. I go pour my cheese in. Tell them I say Alfredo sauce now. White. Hence I don't use red pepper or any pepper flakes. Check. And perfect. This is what I've been waiting for. In less than 10 minutes even. I'll just stir. I'll just stir in my chicken back into the Alfredo sauce. On low heat. Pick up my colander and receive this one. I 
I'll pour them back in to the pot. And turn this one off. Cool. So my Alfredo sauce is over here. And I go taste. Now, like I talk, for the Nigerian nest, my pepper day inside. Next thing I go do, I have to add little salt, one seasoning cube. Trust me, you don't want to lose this recipe. <laughs> okay, I'll set them aside, send this one here on low heat. Pour my Alfredo sauce into the pot. So my Alfredo sauce is very creamy. This is what you get. And after I taste this, Perfecto. Food done done. This is only pedi na na. Jadi di mika mami. Yes so. Na wow. Only pedi pasta. They get plenty pasta brand. Na wow. But nearly the same. Time they don't reach for. They import them. No, they make them here. Made in Nigeria. Wonderful. Yeah. In Nigeria, it takes just ten minutes to cook. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wonderful. Everything here in I made in Nigeria. Be. Everything. Everything with the chops. I not import anything. Wonderful. The cooking milk. The, I don't know whether they make the milk for Nigeria, but in Nigeria I buy the milk. Anyway. Yeah. Sweet. The chicken, the cooking, everything happened in the Nigerian kitchen. Mmm. Put this on spice kitchen. Mmm. This is what you telling me from so I'm saying. You will invite me now all the time. That's the way you invite me to come. Of course.